Eleganza Industrial City shines glowingly at Lagos Trade Fair. The Eleganza Industrial City stand at the 2023 Lagos International Trade Fair which just ended yesterday, Sunday the 12th of November was a mecca of sorts throughout the tender duration of the fair. A massive crowd of retail and wholesale buyers stormed the Eleganza Industrial City stand to purchase global standard quality products produced sequentially by the African manufacturing giants. Top-range products like coolers, luggage boxes, chair, sanitary towels, diapers and many more exclusive products of Eleganza Industrial City were purchased in the highest bowls by visitors to the stand. Led by the indomitable manufacturing lioness herself, the priceless jewel of Okoya dynasty, Dr. Mrs. Folasha de Okoya, staff of Eleganza Industrial City were, as usual, on ground to gallantly welcome visitors to the company's stand and attended hospitably to their needs. To buttress it all, customers and purchasers of Eleganza Industrial City's goods were so excited and overjoyous for being able to achieve their goals of cutting home the most valuable, durable and reliable items as provided directly from the manufacturer, Eleganza Industrial City. An elected Dr. Mrs. Shed Okoya, an unrelenting game-changer, epitome of hard work, diligence and absolute commitment to duty, encouraged and inspired staff of Eleganza Industrial City to be proactive and effective in the delivery of their industrial ethics and productivity. She was glad about the achievements of Eleganza Industrial City at the 37th edition of the Lagos International Trade Fair, orchestrated by the Dr. Michael Olawale Coles Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industries and formally declared opened by the Executive Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Mr. Babajide Olushola Samuel Olu on the 3rd of November, 2023. Indeed, this year's edition of Lagos International Trade Fair is a boom for Eleganza Industrial City and a clarion call by customers and admirers of the company's products for more globally rated household products to be churned out for the benefit of all and sundry. Yes, you have to work hard. To work hard, you can do anything. 
and that the people of health they have a new government to reduce it. And the state in my way was changed in all the states. And the women in China and India are doing their own They too much. They fight machine. They sell them to the athletes. They will give to the youth. And the state are in summer. Then she has that. They start to and sell their name. My advice to the youth is to see our own example and try to start the club and work at the very end. Thank you very much. 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 Thank uh, the current president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce Industry. I was the Lagos Finance Commissioner, the Department of Works in Lagos State, over 30 years ago, doing South Korea administration. I've come here today to celebrate our father, my own father, because he was a very, very close friend of my own little guy, my little guy, my little guy, my little So since then I've known him. As young as I was then, I have known him and I've always admired him. So I got to know that he'll be coming here today. I was in the hall taking part in the program. I said, I must leave that program to come and show respect and respect and respect for our father. Apart from being close to me as a father, he's a very respected Nigerian entrepreneur. And for the Chamber of Commerce, he's a member, he comes a member of the SCCI for many years. And as the SCCI president, I have a duty to be here to honor one of our own from Lagos, who is doing very, very well in celebrating Nigerians and celebrating Africa as a major producer, as a major entrepreneur, as a major African person. It's for the pure pride we have in Nigeria of those who are not just making money, but who are making money through manufacturing. He was in the class of my local dialogue by Adibo Ali, Adibo Ali and Industries. So I used to meet the two of them, uh, with the other friends then, to know the Okoya and all of that at that time, who were all industrialists in Nigeria. So I want to thank God for our father, I want to thank him for sparing his lives, his life so far. And I know he has a long way to go because by the grace of God. I want to also thank him for getting the children involved in his business. That's very key. I will recollect when my friend did his 60th birthday. I invited him to come and speak to that gathering at the area of Georgia to talk about succession planning for a Nigerian businessman. The Kamala Ole was a job of a believer, then the local of the Nigerian And his book that is very good for our parents to expose our own children into business. And Papa here to the Okoya is not just talking about his own children, he's talking about us business people getting children, our youth involved in business. That's the way to get our youth out of poverty. Above of getting job, they also let them also learn leadership. Let them also learn how to manage enterprises. That's why my own first son has just has joined me. He's one of the 40, 41. He now runs my company. Based on the strength I've had from people like Papa, so that we must keep developing our own children. Otherwise, there will be no succession planning. Unless we are very old and we pass away. Many Nigerian businesses have no business to have closed down. If not for poor social planning. And Papa has done very well in that area. He has involved his family in the business, the children in the family, his family, children in the, fam in the business, and they are 
taking full control of the business. My prayer is that they will take the companies to greater heights than what Paul has done. Mm -hmm. That's my prayer for him. So I want to also appeal to Nigerians. We need to be patient. I've said before in the hall, more than five times a day, when we put the government. We must be patient with the real Nigerian government. We have a duty to be patient. Because what is on ground is a damage of several decades. And I've told them in the hall this afternoon that when you have a sickness and you go for a surgery, you must have pain. After the surgery, you will still have pain. But after you have settled down, you will now have your dignity and happiness. What we are doing now is passing through the gates of the healing being brought into the economy of our nation and the new administration. And I'm very confident that if we are patient with them and pray for them and help them in our own little ways to support the government with good ideas, by the second quarter of next year, we are having the quarter of next year to start seeing the changes in Nigeria. So it cannot happen in two or three months. It can happen in four months, even not in six months. It takes some time for healing to take place. I don't think health will not come back. So that's my my prayer to Nigerians. So let's be patient with the new government. I'm saying this as a business man because unless the country is stable and doing well, there's no future for any business. So business people, we have to stability of the nation. We have to have a good economy. We have to have a progressive nation. We are also after living a nation that our young ones will have no cost when they live abroad to go and look for a better life. Better life is here in Nigeria. With over 200 million people and all that we have as resources as a nation. Also with the good people of this country. With over 60 percent of our population from 25 years and above. That is a very, very good house. Them the red heads, the white heads, and the black heads, and then the pure soap, which is a very good souvenir for those of us that don't want to say what you can share them at your party to take it home. And then all other products that they have splashed all over the stand. The coolers are mind blowing, they come in different sizes, different colors. Then there's the baby strollers, they have F there's so many things in the stand, you know. I can't mention all of them except you, you go around and please help us show the viewing public what all the things we have to display. Thank you very much.